In the lesson on the principle of operation of the directional gyro indicator, or DGI, we looked at the errors associated with the DGI. In this lesson, we are going to use that information to enable us to calculate the total error which the DGI is subject to. Questions often arise which require the total drift experienced by a DGI to be calculated. Provided the concept of real and apparent wonder has been understood, the calculations are quite straightforward. The factors we will have to consider in calculating total drift are real wonder, the earth rate, the effect of the latitude nut, and transport wonder in an easterly or westerly direction. So the formula for calculating total drift is therefore total drift, which we will call TD, equals real wonder, or RW, plus earth rate, or ER, plus latitude nut correction, or LN, plus transport wonder, or TW. In addition, we need to establish and consider the mathematical signs each of these factors will give rise to in order to carry out the calculation. To help establish the mathematical signs, we will start by creating a simple table. And we will see from the table how straightforward it is to work out the appropriate mathematical signs. So let's put a negative or minus sign for Earth rate in the Northern Hemisphere. We know from the lesson on the principle of operation and errors of the DGI that this will be the case. If the Earth rate is negative in the Northern Hemisphere, it will be the opposite in the Southern Hemisphere. So let's put a positive or plus sign in the box. The latitude nut induces real drift, which is equal and opposite to drift due to earth rate. So it must be a plus in the box here, and a minus here. The earth rotates in an easterly direction, so transport wonder in an easterly direction will complement this rotation. Therefore, the sign in the box will be a minus for the Northern Hemisphere and a plus in the Southern Hemisphere. Transport wonder in a westerly direction will produce an error which will be opposite to Earth rotation or Earth rate, so the sign must be plus in the Northern Hemisphere and minus in the Southern Hemisphere. We now have all the signs we need, so let's have a look at some typical drift rate questions. It sounds obvious, but in answering a calculation question, the first thing to do is to read and understand the question. This simple point is regularly overlooked, so with this in mind, let's look at a typical question. A perfect DGI has its latitude nut set for 55 degrees north. The aircraft flies for 1 hour 45 minutes on a track of 270 degrees at latitude 50 degrees north at a ground speed of 350 knots. What will be the total DGI error on completion of the flight? Press P to pause and to continue when you are ready. Total drift equals RW plus ER plus LN plus TW. The question tells us that this is a perfect gyro, which means there is no real wonder to consider. Mathematically, therefore, real wonder is zero. The earth rate error is 15 times sine 50 degrees per hour, and it's in the northern hemisphere, so the sine is minus. The latitude nut error is 15 times sine 55 degrees per hour and the sine 
is plus. Transport wonder error is 350 divided by 60 times tan 50 degrees per hour. Transport wonder is to the west, so the sign is plus. Filling in the equation, it looks like this. Remember, our answer so far is in degrees per hour, and our question asks, what is the total DGI error after the flight? The flight has lasted 1 hour 45 minutes, so the answer to the question is 1.75 times the total hourly error, which gives us plus 13.56 degrees. Work through the example again, using the same information, but this time put in an easterly track of 090 degrees to appreciate the difference this will make to the total drift experienced over the same period of time. You should have the total drift experienced over the duration of the flight as minus 10.76 degrees. Note that answers to questions of this kind usually involve just variations of this procedure. Calculations are straightforward. Remember the golden rule is to read the question. This concludes the lessons on the DGI.